The weaponization of the federal government is, uh, look, in my mind, it's priority one. Everyone has their own priorities, but we don't have a country if this continues this way uh, with yeah. American citizens being attacked. The most stark example of this was Merrick Garland taking a letter from a teacher's union and then sicking the FBI on parents. Judiciary just put out a little memo about the ba basis for that. Was that legit? No, it was all manufactured. You got you got Democrat U.S. attorneys saying this looks manufactured. When I talk to local law enforcement, they're all scratching their heads like, why are you guys involved? Why is the federal government involved? If there's some kind of incident, local law enforcement can handle it. So this was a completely manufactured incident. The 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 Democrats told us, oh, this is they're not going to use counterterrorism measures. Yes, they did. They did so in Georgia. The Democrats said, oh, there was no real coordination between the school boards groups and the Biden administration before the initial letter on September 29th, 2021. Yes, there was. And then of course the Democrats said, oh, these threats are everywhere all over the country. Well, they weren't. There were 25 parents who ultimately got investigated. Only one resulted in a full investigation and no one, no one has been charged under this apparatus, this protocol, this procedure that Merrick Garland set up. And again, they were working, the Biden administration was working with the school board groups prior to the to the initial they created the predicate all for political reasons and uh, that's what our report shows clearly uh what they were what what uh, what they were up to what can we do about that what should we do about that the ag is the top law enforcement officer in the country that's a fairly critical position if this sure is a is. human being who's either too weak or biased or just flat out stupid i doubt he's a stupid person but for whatever reason if he's using that post to attack republicans how do we stop that? You got to get a new president. I mean, look, we're gonna we're gonna do what I just no. described: facts on the table, pass legislation, do what we can in the appropriations process. But at some point, you have to have the power of the chief executive of the country, the presidency, who who, who will name the new attorney general, so that you can clean up this kind of thing. Because uh, remember, what we've learned now: they not only targeted parents, they targeted pro-lifers, and they targeted traditional Catholics. We have the memorandum issued from the Richmond Field Office where it said, if you're a traditional Catholic, we're going to treat you as a domestic extremist. I mean, this is crazy. And it, and, and it goes back to this whole mantra that the, that the left has uh, that was, I think, actually, you, you saw it clearly when Joe Biden stood in front of Independence Hall and called half the country fascist and extremist. It's crazy. Yeah. But the attack on people of a different political persuasion and the attack on the First Amendment is, as you said, Jesse, one of the scariest things I've ever seen.